Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, I'm talking about Enterprise Architecture Workspace. That's within the application portfolio management application in ServiceNow that's actually part of strategic portfolio management, um, but it's licensed separately. So it's more of an advanced application. I am a big fan of application portfolio management, especially for my enterprise architects. And I'm an even bigger fan that we finally got our own workspace in service now. And that's what I want to show you. You're looking at it right here. I was able to get to this workspace after installing the store application, Enterprise Architecture Workspace. It was available in my PDI. I was able to install it and then I could navigate to it right here. Don't get me started on the order of these workspaces. I still haven't figured out how to change the order, but I will one day. And we have Enterprise Architecture Workspace, which brought me to the screen you're seeing behind me. So let's take a look. Number one, I've got some insights, orphan business capabilities and software models at risk, both part of my business portfolio and my technology portfolio. I can click on these, hop into a list view of those orphan business capabilities and take an action and work on them. So. These are little scripts that are running to provide little cards. I don't have a complete comprehensive list of all the cards that would be available, but in my PDI, that's what was here to start off for insights. Next is needs attention. So I've got a request here for missing profiles and GL accounts. I can hop and look at that request. Any certifications that are out here. So we've got some server certifications and a server schedule for IBM um, that are assigned, unassigned and assigned to Bud there. And I've got some assessments that are out there for company assessment questionnaire. Um, these are actually assigned to Alfonso and Amos and uh, haven't been taken yet. So I've got some attention or some visibility there. I can refresh if I need to. So a nice little widget bringing my attention to that stuff. And now portfolio overview and health. Here I can monitor my portfolio and its health and I can use these filters to narrow down the results for the sections below. So if I just wanted to see for Let's try accounts payable. I did not test this beforehand. Look at that, it updated and applied that filter to all uh, the portfolio view. Um, interestingly, it didn't apply it to portfolio health, just the portfolio overview is where it applied that. So I'll go ahead and clear that there, clear. And now we're back to all 119 business applications. But I can do the same for install type, for application type, custom off the shelf, homegrown or SaaS, by business unit, by business owner, Lots of owners there, IT application owner and the capability owner. And of course, I've got a clear all right there. But what's in that portfolio view? We've got business applications, business capabilities, information objects, business applications with high risk, with low score, and with TRM technical debt. And then off to the right there, just above my head, I do have business applications by install type. There we can see what's third party hosted or host hybrid on premise cloud and what doesn't have an install type specified at all. Down here in portfolio health, business applications without capabilities, without owners, not assessed. So no assessment's been done for the application. Uh, just behind my head here, we can see without application services uh, down there on the lower left, without architectural artifacts, without business applications, so business capabilities without business applications and business capabilities that haven't been assessed. This is at the core of what you do as an enterprise architect in application portfolio management. And so these portfolio health is bringing our attention into things that need to be done, need to be assessed, need to be mapped. So very, very helpful information there. Now I've got two tabs on this homepage. We just went through the overview tab. Next, I'm going to go through the dashboard. It says plural dashboard. Let's take a look at what's under there enterprise architecture dashboard all right we've got business applications by lifecycle stage status by stage there on the right top business applications by user base by technology stack um, business applications by install type by platform by application category application family trm technical debt high risk tpm uh, and some other widgets and scores there. I've got those same kind of filters you saw on the previous screen. Let's take a look at another dashboard. That's the only dashboard is the enterprise architecture dashboard. So what do we know from this everyone? ServiceNow is gonna stick some more dashboards in here at some point, which I think is pretty cool because it's plural and we do have the dropdown here for multiple dashboards. I also noticed while I was in here that we can view the details of the particular dashboard. So I've got 
who created it, usage, stuff like that. I can edit it, and I believe that's gonna take me to UI Builder or Platform Analytics Workspace. A UI Builder is where it took me, so I can go edit the dashboard in UI Builder. And if you watched any of my, sh my videos, I am not comfortable in this application yet, so I'm gonna mosey on back to the Enterprise Dashboard and see what else we can share, bookmark, or delete it. And that's it for this particular one. Next, I've got another menu item over here on the left-hand side. Uh, it looks like a little portfolio or um, a padlock even, but a portfolio in the old days, you know, you carried around a portfolio to show your artwork. That's what that looks like there. So let's move my head back over to the right and we've got our business capabilities hierarchy within our hierarchy map. So this is cool. This was a separate application before you had to go to things, but you can see there I've drilled down into market and sell products and services. And then under the capability of develop and manage sales plans, we have one application for Salesforce Sales Cloud. That swings open a panel where I can review the application details, what status it's in, uh, this one's being implemented, the business process it relates to, the application type, scoring profile, all of your business application information that you'd expect is nice in this little form here that we can uh, do something with. If I cancel out of that, I can view a capability. Let's go ahead and click on that and it'll open up the capability form where I can see the parent, the name of it, uh, business unit order department and this stuff associated with it. If I want to create a new capability, I've got a button there to do that and I can get started creating a new capability and then update the hierarchies as needed. Now I can personalize this space. I can add different columns. I can control uh, whether the rows are shaded or not. I actually like that for my eyes. I can see what the difference is. And our last feature we're going to jump over here is one that's in almost every single workspace that I've shown on my channel. And that's the list view with the tables that are related to the application you're looking at. So we've got business capabilities, business applications, application services, information objects, business processes, the technology reference model, and architectural artifacts, which I didn't notice the first time I went in here. Let's go ahead and click on architectural artifacts. There we go. I've got some application business data and technology architectures um, as artifacts and with approved versions. I think I was doing this when I did my integration with Lucidchart. Um, and I, yeah, it was just Lucidchart. I think I did that for that. So that's it. That's the new enterprise architecture workspace, bringing everything to one place for you to see everything. I'm just scrolling through an attachment here um, for architectural artifacts, but that's it. That's the workspace. I'm excited. They finally introduced this. I'm excited about what's going to come out after Utah or in between releases, since this is a store application and we have seen ServiceNow update store applications between family releases. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in bringing all of their application portfolio management activities into a single workspace like the Enterprise Architecture Workspace. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.